Let's begin with prayer. Heavenly Father, again, I want to thank you that I'm alive for such a time as this. I thank you that I awake because you sustain me. You are blessed forever, mighty God, ruler of all, all wise, all sufficient, all loving, lovingly purposeful, Father. I thank you that you guide us lovingly and skillful, Father. Your hands are skillful in your guide. Father, we thank you that you neither slumber nor sleep, Father, that you sustain us through the day. You strengthen and you sustain us, Father. You guard and you guide us. You are the pathway of peace, the highway to holiness, Father. Your rule is righteous, Father, and you reign supreme, Father. You are blessed. Be blessed. You are exalted. Father, in the name of Jesus, I present myself as a living sacrifice today, holy and acceptable. And I thank you that it is my reasonable act of worship, Father. This day, I purpose to yield to the speaker of the house. That is the Holy Spirit. I need you, Holy Spirit. I do nothing without you, but I can do all things in, with and through you. I thank you that you reside in and you're operating in and through me. I thank you for your word that go it resides in me and your word that flows forth from me, Father. For your word says out of my belly will flow rivers of living water. And I thank you, Father God. Those waters are sweet waters, not bitter water, Father, according to thy word. I thank you, Father God, that I have an unction from the Holy One and I know all things. I thank you, Father God, that you have hidden up godly wisdom for me and not from me, Father. I thank you, Father God, that you have purposed and ordained me to be a minister and a dispenser of the gospel that is grace, Father. I thank you, Father God, that you have given me all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who has called me unto glory and unto virtue. Be exalted. You are blessed forever. In the name of Jesus, Father God, I pray for every listener, every subscriber, every person who will hear this word, Father. I speak for the cultivated ears and cultivated hearts and mind, Father. In the name of Jesus, turn down every, turn up every bit of foul ground of any heart, Father, in the name of Jesus. And I decree there will be great receptivity to your word, Father. And that with this great receptivity, there will be understanding, Father, for they will hear, Father. With joy, Father, they will receive the engrafted word that is God, of God, that is able to save their soul, Father. I thank you, Father God, they will be given understanding, Father, that they will hear and they will hear and understand. They will see and they will see and perceive, Father, by your spirit, Father, for we do all things in Christ Jesus, Father. We thank you, Father God, that your word commands. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the mandate that has gone forth from heaven, Father, that we praise you in all things, Father, and in all things we give thanksgiving, Father. In the name of Jesus and by the power of the blood, I decree this word will go forth unhindered and unchecked by any outside force, Father. Every ill will that has set itself against this ministry, against this word this day, every high thought that exalts itself against your true knowledge, Father, I pray Bring that those thoughts captive and teach them to submit to Christ. I bind up every contrary spirit, every witchcraft spirit, every delaying spirit, every confusion spirit, every every spirit that causes confusion in the mind, Father. I thank you for the memory of the righteous is blessed, Father. I thank you, Father God, that you have blessed us in all things. We triumph in Christ Jesus, Father. You are gracious and you are loving. Be exalted, Lord. Be magnified. I speak the spirit of one accord upon the body of Christ. One mind, one mouth, and one heart, Father. And one judgment according to thy word, Father. And I thank you that what I have decreed this day will be established, Father, for the words I have spoken is your words, and your words do not and cannot return to you, Lord. I thank you that you hasten and you look after your word to perform it, Father. I entrust your word to your will, and I, take, I entrust my life to your word and your will, Father. I commit this ministry, my life, my words, and all that you've given me to you, trusting you are able to keep it against the day. Be blessed, Father. Be exalted. There's no one like you. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you and we pray. Amen.